Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to install and utilize Screencastify on a student Chromebook. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Screencastify. So you can just Google it, Screencastify, and it should be the first thing that pops up. It's just Screencastify.com. Once you get to Screencastify.com and it loads for you, just hit Start Creating Free in the upper right hand corner. And it should take you directly to the Chrome Web Store and the Screencastify um, edition that you can add to Chrome. So go ahead and just click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and then it'll kind of download and do its thing. And you should be good to go when it pops up in the upper right hand corner. And it'll probably like open this extra window for you and all of that fun stuff. But we're just gonna kind of ignore this because we don't necessarily need it maybe oh just kidding it's gonna ask you to sign in so we'll hit sign in with Google and we'll hit our user come on there we go it's just a lot of clicking buttons make sure that you allow it to access your Google account and it'll work on signing you in. You want to agree to the terms um, and it's up to you if you want occasional emails about features and whatnot. So then we'll just click next. You can just kind of go through all of this. So I'm a student, um, school use only, hit yes or no if you're using it for more than school, but since it's on a school Chromebook, we can probably safely hit yes. And it'll think for a little while and then we should be good to go and it'll pull up this page that kind of walks you through some things. So you are going to want to enable your um, microphone and webcam. So we're going to click number two right here. It says enable mic and webcam and you can do this later, but since it pops up for you, you might as well just do it now. So just click, click that and then we'll hit allow so that it will access both our webcam and our microphone. And then we should be good to go to start recording. So now I'm going to teach you um, kind of how to record with Screencastify. So up in the upper right hand corner, you're going to want to click the little puzzle piece icon, which is where your extensions are housed. And since you downloaded Screencastify, you should see it in your list, if not right at the top. Now, if you want to pin a little icon to the bar up here, so you don't always have to click into that puzzle piece to open it, you can hit the little pin button and then the icon will just pop up right there. It's the little pink arrow looking icon. Now to start a Screencastify recording, you just hit the little icon. And it's going to give you some options here in this menu that it pulls up. So first of all, you have a few options for how to record. You can just record the tab that you're on if you choose browser tab. If you want to record your whole desktop screen and you plan to switch tabs or plan to like maybe pull up something else that you want the, the video to capture, then you'll want to do desktop. And then if you want to record your entire screen along um, along with like your image, you wanna do desktop as well because this has the ability to also record your face. So it'll like record what you're doing on your screen and it'll record your face. And that's if you toggle on the embed webcam, then it'll use that embedded camera on your Chromebook. And then finally, you could just record via the webcam if you choose webcam only. So that's only if you want to just record yourself talking and not what's on your screen. So lots of options to use, which is pretty cool. I usually use the desktop one with the embedded webcam so that people can see what I'm working on as well as my face. Now there are some more options for you. So if you hit show more options, um, you can toggle on or off any of these things that you would like to use or would like to not use. So the countdown down, what that does is it'll just give you a three, two, one countdown until it starts recording. I usually keep that on because I find it super helpful and it just gives me a couple seconds to like get my life together. The drawing tools, I'll keep those on for now to just kind of show you what they are. Um, but it is just like a little toolbar that'll pop up with some different drawing um, and pointer tools that you can use. So if you're maybe recording a presentation, that might be something that you would find helpful. Um, and then system audio, I usually just leave toggled off. Okay, so I'm actually going to start recording. You are going to see me in the embedded webcam and you'll see the little <laughs> recording setup that I have. So we'll hit record here. And when you choose that option, so hi, here's what I'm recording on. Super weird and fun. Um, so when you see when you click that desktop option, this is the only one that it does this for, you'll get the, a pop-up window where you have to select like what you want it to record. So I usually just choose entire screen. 
Um, but if you just want it to record a select window that you have pulled up, then you can do it that way too. So I'm just gonna click entire screen, then click share. It'll do the three, two, one countdown. And now we are recording. Um, now my tools, I actually have a couple more tabs open here. So let me see if my tools, I don't know where they ended up. I thought I toggled the tools on. Where are they? Shoot, okay, well, I guess we're not gonna get a chance to look at the tools here, but usually a little toolbar will pop up for you when you have the drawing tools toggled on, which I thought I did. So I'm recording, blah, blah, blah. I say my piece, I do my thing. And then when you're ready to be done recording, like you finished, you come up, you click the little icon again, and it'll load and then you hit stop. And that's if you wanna save what you just recorded. So if you wanna save what you just recorded, you hit stop. Um, if you hit the little trash can button, that'll delete. Like maybe you did a take and you didn't like it. You can um, hit delete and then it'll delete it and you can just record again. So then it'll pop up to this screen with your recording. You can play it and listen to it to see if everything is good, you like it. Um, you can also trim it, so you can trim either end or you can open an editor and there are some basic editing tools that you can use. I'm not gonna show you those now. Um, maybe we'll go through that in a different video. Once you're done editing and you're ready to share it with whomever you're ready to share it with, there's a couple options for sharing. Um, so first of all, it will automatically save to your Google Drive, but it saves as a private file. So if you want somebody to be able to view it, like if you're recording this for an assignment, you will need to change that private private to public and that way anybody can watch it. Or if you only want certain people to be able to watch it, you could also choose unlisted and then only the people that you give the link to can watch it. So once you update the privacy setting, then you should be able to copy the drive link and then share that with whomever you wanna share it with. Um, you are able to share it to Google Classroom, so you could try that feature as well to upload it to an assignment. You could send it through Gmail, or you could export the video. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, you could upload it to YouTube and then share the link that way. So there's a lot of different options for sharing when you're using Screencastify. It's pretty, pretty user-friendly, but those are kind of the basics. So if you have any questions um, about any of that stuff that we just covered, feel free to ask. That's what I'm here for. You can either drop a comment below, um, and all, as always, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.